If I was trying to find another way to rephrase today's unboxing, that would be Dungeon Crawler Overdose. Welcome to the Darkest Dungeon, the board game unboxing. As you can see, we have a ton of stuff in front of us, so very, very excited to receive this just in the post. So I'm very happy and uh, uh, going to open the boxes together with you to show you what's inside. As you can see, there is a plethora of boxes. Uh, we're talking about uh, the Ancestral Pledge. Uh, we have uh, the core box, we have the stretch goals, we have different goodies, a playmat, we have the crimson cord and so on. So for the moment, let me take everything out so I can unfold the player mat so that it can be our base so we can put everything on top of that. So the player mat, as always, this uh, company comes with uh, stitch, stitched mat, uh, play mats. And this is uh, actually now a, st a high standard in the industry. Anything less than that is uh, not, uh, not good anymore. So very good neoprene quality mat with a lot of darkness. There you go. So this is a huge uh, play mat. And uh, just to try to show you the size, of course, I cannot fit everything in the screen. But you can see it has some very nice details. I like, of course, the fact that it's black. Okay, we're talking about uh, the darkest dungeon, dungeon, so it could uh, be any color other than black wouldn't be just good for this game, uh, for the theme and for the aesthetics. So this is a playmat, huge. So let's start by um, uh, making some <laughs> heavy lift weighting. So this is the back of the core box, the Darkest Dungeon, the board game. Looks absolutely amazing. I've heard so many good things about the game. Uh, a lot of my play, uh, my uh, my fellow player um, uh, friends players have tried it and have only good things to say so far. So I'm really looking forward to give this a spin myself as well. So let's, uh, this is really heavy box. Before uh, we start diving into the box, just some brief information to show you and to mention that this is a game for one to four players. This is played from 90 minutes to 120 minutes. Ages 14 and up, it's a campaign game, of course. It has a weight of 3.8 out of five. The designers are Nick Niotis and uh, Argiris uh, uh, Punguras. Uh, the artist is Christopher uh, Burasa and the publisher is Mythic Games. The game falls under the category of games of exploration, fantasy, fighting with miniatures, video game theme, inspired of course, for those of you who don't know it already, this is um, uh, from aesthetics point of view and feel from what I hear because it really brings up the video game, uh, very heavily linked with the Darkest Dungeon, the video game. Uh, a ton of, uh, I would say, mechanisms, area movement, cooperative game, critical hits and failures, dice rolling, final ending, movement points, multiple maps, uh, has role playing, solo mode, uh, variable player powers, and of course, multiple maps and scenarios. The game offers a lot of replayability, uh, as with this type of genre of games. This is clearly uh, a very, very high uh, uh, expectations dungeon crawler. Uh, today we're going to focus on the production and what we find inside the box and we're going to follow with different material that we're going to release for the video, some how to play videos, some playthroughs, etc. So, uh, as the lore says, Ruin has come to our family. This, in this adaptation of Red Hook's acclaimed Darkest Dungeon video game, you strive to cleanse a manor of an, and its surroundings uh, from all manner of evil hordes of undead, foul beasts and eldritch abominations. And finally, either at death's door or at your wit's end, you will have to uproot evil itself from the darkest dungeon. So, lots of things to discover here. Let's dive into this really nice looking dungeon. So, first of all, we have um, a letter for the backers. And important note. Okay. Nice. We're going to spread things around me <laughs> because there's no other way I'm going to fit everything in this uh, uh, surface. So 
uh, this is the, the, the next project of uh, Mythic Games, which is also really fascinating. I'm also expecting this one, Hell, the La Saga, a very, very uh, immersive and thematic game. And this is another of the projects. Uh, so very much looking forward to, to those as well. I have to say there's been a lot of uh, discussion about Mythic Games, etc. But, uh, you know, the company coming down to some redesigning and its purpose and its scope. But so far, everything I've played from these guys, I loved it. It was uh, uh, Reichbusters, it's a superb dungeon crawler with a uh, World War II theme and fantastic gameplay. Uh, not to mention uh, Steam Watchers, another fantastic game, Enchanters, etc. So all the games that I've played from them, I really, really enjoyed. So I'm really hoping that they will continue delivering uh, great games like this one, which I have heard so many good things about. So let's uh, let's start. So there are, these are some uh, uh, tiles for the different buildings. Again, if you have seen games from Mythic Games before, you know the quality is fantastic. Linen finish, cardboard, very good uh, print and very good colors and nice and flat. So these are the different uh, buildings. In the hamlet, we have the abbey, and it's different uh, different levels. The sanitarium, and these go and fit in different slots to modify the hamlet as you would expect. Again, abbey, stagecoach, nomad wagon. Tavern. This is a previous version of the tavern and the sanitarium. This is a blacksmith. I really like how these uh, tiles uh, are custom and they're going to fit into specific slots to give you different options as you progress through the game. So this is a very nice, from development point of view, way to... Uh, you don't see everything unfortunately, but anyway, uh, to modify the framework of uh, the locations of the board game. So, survivalists, blacksmith, and survivalist again. Okay, I think I I'm starting the wrong way around because I should be starting from the rulebook. But anyway, let's uh, take everything out of the pun punch boards. Uh, the aesthetics in this game really go close together with the, uh, the video game and I like the fact that yes, it's Darkest Dungeon and yes, it needs to have a lot of black and yes, it, deliver, it, it delivers it in a really nice way, I think. Because you can have various approaches to aesthetics and sometimes they fail. I, I do believe, even though this is just my first glances inside the box, that the looks really do justice to what I would expect to see. So these are the heroes, all the way from the Abomination, to the Occultist, to the Plague Doctor, to the Highwayman, to the Vestal, to the Bounty Hunter, to the Crusader, etc. And these are uh, tiles, because in this game uh, the initiative is really important, who goes first. And this is part of the tactical decisions of the game, from what I understand. Haven't played it yet. The art is fantastic. These are tiles again. Yeah. Okay. Good stuff. Some more tokens. Really big tokens. So far, I really do like what I see. I've heard only one complaint from this game so far, and I'm, I'm okay with that, but I can understand that it's uh, something you have to deal with. It takes a lot of table surface, but boy, does it look good at the end. Okay, so these are the tiles.
of the different locations. which they will be progressing together with the story. I'm going to come to those in a sec. Wow! Plastic baggies with the logo of the game. This is a first for me. This looks really nice. Nice way to add a personalized touch to your board game. Okay. Okay, this is a, a bunch of stuff put together. We have the dice, and I do like my dice to be custom, and these look absolutely stunning. Very nice different phases for the different results of the game, of the, of the dice. Yeah, very nice dice. Really looking great. Okay, lots of cards, various boxes. I'm going to try to take everything out just to make more space. Okay. Okay. So this is uh, the core box again. So let's start by probably better showing the tiles before and putting them at the bottom before moving up. So again, these are really big tiles. I don't know if you can see, I'm um, one meter and 86 centimeters tall. So you can see my hand and you can understand how big these tiles are. Very nice art. I like the fact that it gives a uh, dark and um, I know, mysterious, cartoonish uh, vibe, but again, uh, with a lot of detail. So it's not a, it's not any happy cartoon. It's a thematic, mysterious and dark cartoon, I would say. At least the aesthetics of the art, and I really like what I see. Okay, so lots of different spaces and uh, locations, indoors and outdoors. So these look really nice, yeah. And these are uh, indoors, I think. Oh no, this is a square. Okay. Ooh. Nice. Well, the art is phenomenal. I really can't wait to get this on the table. You see, they have a number for the uh, tiles, so you can easily locate them. Lots of wreckage and destruction. Fantastic quality. These boards really are amazing. There are a ton, you have a ton of those, but they also do look very, very nice and different from each other. So there's a big variety of, uh, it's not a repetition of the art here. We have a lot of different things. This is a throne room, maybe. Yeah, or some shorts. Some fires. This is a different uh, color from the previous ones. Gives a more warm feeling, some kind of indoors wreckage with a lot of wood, broken wood, armors and weapons, etc. Some kind of infestation of evil lurking. Ooh. So you see, as we move through the tiles, we go deeper and deeper, and we see the evil spreading. This is nice to look at. I'm not sure it's nice to fight on. But we will make do, for sure, like we always do. A lot and lot of different environment and material and locations and I really very much like what I see. Fantastic art, looks absolutely amazing. Okay, now let's cut through this big piece of boards and leaflets and tiles, etc. 
most probably we have our player boards. Again, these, all these materials are really heavy because they are made out of uh, thick cardboard, linen finish. So they do add a lot of uh, value, I would say, to what you get. Okay. So before doing anything else, I want to take the bosses and put them there. And this is some additional contents and cards. Okay. A ton of things, really, really. This is amazing. Never actually, I'm, I'm never stopped to be amazed on how many different contents this game comes with. So this is a rule book, okay? It's a fairly normal book for dungeon crawler, 43 pages, with a large font, I would say, examples, contents, detailed, etc. So briefly, we have the contents, we have the different things that we find, the game contents, the different boards, the room tiles, certain room tiles, plus one PvP air arena for PvP game player versus uh, player. We have one light and two stance boards. We have hero dashboards. The Hamlet board, which again, I have uh, one upgrade on that. And I'll show you soon. Some additional dungeon tiles, hero cards, diseases, trink uh, trinkets, positive and negative quirks, afflictions, master bosses, PVP cards, skill cards, quest cards, and Hamlet events. And one bazillion different minis. So all these on top are heroes. These are ruined monsters. And these are ruined bosses. And here are some common monsters and darkest dungeon monsters. And darkest dungeon bosses. Okay, very nice. Um, uh, depiction on what's what so let's try to put the the um, okay I'm going to use the crimson cord here as a scaffold <laughs> for showing the rulebook okay so we have the the game overview the campaign overview in the locations the anatomy of the hero boards and the hero cards The setup of the game. So this is going to be uh, a quick look on your uh, play area. The navigation through dungeons, how it works, the battle and skills. Set up a battle, how you set up the battle and how it works in practice. The different effects. Here's a master's turn uh, explanation. These are two pages showing in detail how you master's turn work, so that's good. Trinkets, stress afflictions and virtues, and then the hero death, the bosses, returning to the hamlet, always nice to go back home. The different locations, how you can upgrade them to do different stuff, and how you save the game and the different game modes. You have Radian and Stygian modes. Stygian mode is a harder way to play. When you play this mode, follow the specific rules here. The Radian mode is the easiest way to play and the specific tweet, tweak for playing it with a bit of easy way. The Abomination, a special kind of hero, boss fights. Our heroes, suggested party compositions. And that's it. So. A ton of stuff, literally, <laughs> almost, let's say. Okay, cool. So, what's that? Start here before you play. Oh, nice. So they have a quick start guide. So they show you the basics so that you can really get a very quick understanding of the game. So this is always welcome. Cool, cool, cool. Good, I like it. And then we have the Hamlet.
again, take a, a mental photograph here because I'm going to show you an upgrade of this with the recessed board, but it looks really, really nice. And here you put the different uh, uh, tiles on top of those when you upgrade the, the Hamlet. The light board. Okay, good. Then we have the uh, Hero dashboards. Okay. We have four, one for each player. Okay, yeah, it's upside down. Cool. <laughs> I was taking a glance in the rule book, by the way. So, uh, this is the dashboard, you have slots, you have location for uh, different weapons, trackers, looks like a nice accumulation of your stuff, let's put it there for the moment. We have the safe box, okay, this is nice, yeah, this is nice because again, Games like that, you definitely, unless you have a huge house or uh, gaming tables, which, which can afford hiding a game beneath, you do need to save them so that you can continue to save them. So always save boxes are, I would say, uh, welcomed. At least I do welcome them always. Okay, don't worry, so I'm going to uh, put it together later, but nice to have a save box. Okay. Then we have some punch boards with tokens. And I come, I'm going to come back to this because uh, I have also the darkest organizer, which uh, it's useful to put things together. So these are different tokens like uh, buffs. These are buffs. These are debuffs. We have stun, we have bleed, uh, bleed, and we have blight. And have lots of those. Again, I'm not going to unpunch those because just one maybe to show you. Good quality cardboard, linen finish. Looks nice. Okay. So maybe, maybe, maybe I'm going to put them here. Let them here. And then we have uh, 21 rooms. We ha and I have also upgrades for those. We have, uh, you're going to see them in later, uh, loot tokens, firewood, and these are wounds. Value of one, five, and 10. We've seen some of the five and 10 here. You also get um, value one. Okay, maybe we can take the, the wound tokens out. You're going to be wounded a lot in this game. <laughs> so, be prepared and hopefully you're going to be able to wound as well a lot of monsters okay not unpunching the rest we also have a uh, guard and protection tokens uh, some uh, experience points and gold and for these, there are also upgrades. Some additional ones that I couldn't fit on a, a main board. Then, <laughs> snort. <laughs> this is nice, nice. And then we have um, a pad so that you can track your hero name and level and wounds and stress and experience and diseases, trinkets, squirts, level two skills and level three skills. Very good. Nice. Then, these are also many. Yeah. And I'm not sure if these are the the dungeon tiles, yes, 
these are the dungeon tiles. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, coming back to, we're still in the core box, right? So let's go through the bosses. These are bosses level three. Boss is level two, and boss is level one. And then you have these as well. So let's see them. The Bone Captain. The Brigand Blood Letter. The Cow, the Go, the Adder. The Prophet. It's a nice mini for this as well. The Prophet th two and three, the Fanatic. The Pyre. The Templar Warlord, the Templar Impaler, Mammoth Kist, Shuffling Horror, Ancestor Second Form. Okay, just stating Heart and Heart of Darkness. Nice. So all these are bosses. Okay. We also have uh, monsters. Oh no, these are um, 22 hero PvP cards. No, these are PvP cards for playing a PvP game, player versus player that is. This is also nice. Uh, very it's always added value for uh, games of this magnitude and scope to have additional game modes and I think this delivers. I love the art again, as I mentioned at the beginning. Okay, Crusader. Yeah, okay, cool. Then, oh, we have those small cards, which are again bosses. Right. And then, I need to make mental note what goes where because I'm going to be lost. These cards are the uh, heroes. Each of the hero has a specific card and as you can understand, this clicks together with your uh, dashboard. Okay, so a big variety here uh, for all the heroes. You're going to see them in the minis in a bit. Again, the same art, but the different um, structure of the card for the main game. So, there you go. Now, We have various decks of cards. Okay, 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 okay. Let's try to see what's inside of them. I like the fact that they come into deck boxes. This is cool because it gives you the ability to store them here as well. I don't know if you can store them here with the sleeves. No, you cannot because I got the sleeves, so it's a pity. But still, nice to have tack boxes, if you didn't get the sleeves, like me. Bosses ability. All the bosses come with the different abilities. So, again, I don't want to make any spoilers, but just quickly to go through the different cards to show you the art, to show you the structure and the anatomy of the card quickly, but we're going to cover how it game plays respectively in the separate session. So far we've been looking only at cards and tokens, huh? and the game has an equal amount of minis, just to mention. Grab a coffee, maybe pause the video and grab a coffee. <laughs> I sure did get myself one before. So these are the uh, monster cards. There are 165 monster and bosses cards in total. Okay, that's a lot, together with these ones. 
Wow. Talking about variety, right? Cool. Bosses and bosses uh, skills and monsters. These are monsters. Oh my god, there's a ton of vari variety here. There's there's no way I'm going to get board playing the darkest dungeon for sure. There is a one bazillion things. Cool. For sure, I'm going to start with uh, the recommended party composition, all one of those. These are Hamlet events and quests. Again, different things from the quests or the Hamlet events, not to make any spoiler, but you see there is a variety of things that are going to happen in, the, in our little Hamlet. Okay. Okay. These cards, I believe, are the Stygian cards and the Curio cards. Yeah. We have the Curio cards. And the Stygian cards. So, these are the Curio cards, yeah. And then we have these little boxes. We're going to get diseases, trinkets, and all sorts of different things. These are very big decks. Okay. Because these are per, per hero. Okay, so each hero has their own cards. The Crusader, the Jester, etc. So Dirk Stab, Harvest, Finale, and Solo. Okay, cool. I'm not going to go through uh, all of those, just to show you quickly the amount of content, actually, mainly. Cards for our heroes. The Plague Doctor. Disorientating Blast one. Okay, so all these go here. Yes, and there's a very convenient portrait at the back of its deck box to show you which uh, heroes they belong to. Perfect. And two minor small boxes. Okay. I'm able to take, yeah, because you have to do it from the other way around. Hello. Okay. Yeah. 
these cards are the negative quirks and the positive quirks and the trinklets no this is the initiative yeah and the afflictions okay Gosh. And last deck box. I promise there's nothing more. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> right, so this is the last deck of cards in the core box. These are the trinket trinkets, yeah. A fasting seal or a fortunate hamlet, hamlet or a camouflage clock and so on. Okay, so these are the trinkets. Cool. Right, now these are the components of the game, but we haven't opened yet the strong box, which is which has the stretch goals and the minis, etc. So let's open the strong box. Actually, I'm going to take it to the side because I'm going to take this to the side as well because I'm going to actually show you that there are two boxes here, I believe. One. And one, two. My uh, boxes, my boxes do say touch of darkness because they have been uh, washed, okay? So I have received the pledge with uh, With the wash right so i do like the fact that they yes very very well done mythic games top tray and bottom tray they do show what goes in each of the cases so i either like to have a, a card here or even better printed in the the, uh, the inside of uh, the lid because I can show you easily, I can put everything easily back in its place. It's a big issue with uh, this type of games, which have a ton of uh, minis. Okay, so stop talking now and go through the tray. These are the heroes. And here we have monsters. These look amazing. And still, 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 we are in the first of the two boxes. It's like a war zone behind me, for sure, you can understand why. I'm throwing out boxes and leads and stuff. And stuff. But look at that. This is absolutely amazing. Fantastic. Sculpts, a ton of variety. I like very much what I see. So let me put this close together. And let, let me start showing you off some of the... Actually, let me also open the, the bottom box. And then I'm going to handpick some of those because otherwise this video is going to take for forever. Again, you have the insert and you have the the print of the tray right <laughs> so you didn't get a close look though in this right did you no so let's Correct this. These are amazing. 
Yeah, this is the prophet. Okay. And these are again our heroes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to handpick some of those for you to see. So first of all, let's start with some of the heroes. Again, these are the washed ones. That's why they say touch of darkness on top with the boxes. If you didn't get the washed version, they're going to be simple gray miniatures. Still, they're nice. For everyone painting miniatures, I think these are going to be amazing. Let me see the plate, Doctor. For well, sure, I want to use a plate, Doctor. I'm not sure if he is in the recommended party for first game, but I would very much like to see him in action. Ooh, the Crusader. This is a way. <laughs> That's from something else, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. I mean, the scouts are amazing. I don't know uh, what the artists have done previously, but uh, first of all, for me who haven't played the video game, but uh, maybe now thinking backwards, I'm going to try it. They do look very much alike what you would expect from the video game. And on their own, to, be, to begin with, they do have very much I would say uh, amazing postures, a lot of detail, dynamic poses, and so on. I think these are tokens, uh, not heroes, yeah, markers. This, this is a hero. Okay, fair enough. Enough with that. So let me um, show you some of the monsters. Ah, look at that. This is fantastic. Okay, this looks amazing. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So very beautiful. Okay, we haven't seen these. And maybe these as well. And what about these? These are disgusting, but beautifully disgusting creatures and creatures and cockroaches and inserts and whatever. Okay. Quite a few of those, then uh, we haven't seen these. And maybe these as well. Or that, I would say. Yeah, okay, cool. So this is uh, the first tray. Still, this is the first tray, the bottom part of the first tray. So quickly to show you some more enemies. And there are many more than uh, one. I'm just showing you one of each. Okay. There are more copies of each of those. These are nice as well. 
I don't remember the names on top of my head. And for sure, you're not going to be using all of those, so don't panic. There's a variety here for a reason. Oh, nice. And maybe this is really beautiful. Yay. This cobra-like creature is amazing. Okay, and then we have some buccaneers, or I don't know, with, uh, with guns, these guys do pack guns. And these are the last two type of sculpts in this tray. So, lot of beautiful minis here. And then, let's see these. Okay, these are all unique, I think, or most of them at least. <laughs> they really <laughs> do scare me a lot, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Hope I'm not going to have nightmares tonight. If so, I know what to blame. <laughs> but I do really like what I see, and, I, and uh, they've done a tremendous job in uh, making this a very, very scary, but uh, vivid world with uh, a lot of imagination and a lot of variety in the masters and bosses etc i don't know since i haven't played the video game and this maybe someone can help uh, if they do if they have already played the video game if these are creatures that are already included in the video game or if they have added more um monsters of course they're inspired from the video game, and I would expect that they are, but I just want to, to ask if someone knows if they are more than what it's in the video game, or the other way around. Because there are so many. Really. I wouldn't expect to have so, such a big variety, but uh, it is there. So. Okay. Oh, see, I don't remember how fit that to be honest but this is nice as well uh, but for that reason no this goes here right yeah and this goes here but the other way around yeah or not yeah there it is so you first need to put this guy here, and then this on top. Cool. I don't remember where this is from. Going to see in a moment. And that's why it's uh, good to have this print out on the, the lid. Otherwise, it's going to be, I'm telling you, a mess. I've seen it in other companies and in other games. It takes so much time to... to put these uh, minis back into the box. And it's, I think, through experience that comes that they, this company has listened and put this um, print out on the top of the lids so that you can... Oh, these are nice. This is a profit. Horrible. And finally we have three of those and one of these. This is a heretic, I think. Cool. So, oh, I forgot to mention, we also have this absolutely amazing mini. They try to kick each other while being hanged. <laughs> cool. So, there you have it. These are the contents of the core box. So, I'm going to quickly move here to show you the, the contents of the Crimson Corp, which is an expansion, with, which adds variety in the monsters. Okay. Bosses, more room tiles in the court, 80 monster and bosses cards, 
six room tiles and all these okay so more variety here so let's put this um, here let's take this out let's open up the tiles so that we can see them I'm not going to let them out laying around because I don't think we can or maybe we could I don't know fit everything here so these are the tiles again they have more green and uh, I do like the fact that they differentiate from uh, the core tiles because they have a different uh, you know location and aesthetics and feeling and art Cool. Okay. Then we have the top tray. I'm not going to take everything out just to quickly show you here the up close the the minis. Okay. Some tokens. Some more bosses. This is really nice. Okay. And then, gosh, <laughs> we have these. So these are the bosses. Okay. This is looks like the Duchess. Okay, okay, okay. But look at that. First of all, I want to see. Yes, it balances out. Because I was worried that it's going to fall. Uh, meaning the, the weight is going to pull it down. But it doesn't. It's amazing. 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 Amazing mini. Horrible monsters. Three of those. Two of those. Did we see this one? No. Three of those. Quite a few of those. This looks like the 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 people who serve the food but they open the dish and then <laughs> voila okay but not least we have this okay so okay I think I'm not going to open the cards because all these have the respective decks of cards etc as you can see okay that they go with the quests etc But what I want to show you are some additional things that I got. So first of all, we have the promo musketeer, which is uh, this guy over here. Another hero. Looks really nice. Yeah, and the PvP as well cards and the hero card beneath. Perfect. Okay, so let's put that there then uh, I also got the sleeves and they have it's a good opportunity because it has these huge sleeves which are premium as well which I wouldn't be able to find elsewhere then this is the darkest organizer and I don't know why it's darkest for me it's a bright idea because yeah you see you have a uh, 
you have the ability this is really nice to have uh, boxes that you can take out and put around the table and then put them in and then store them so perfect I just wish I had more of those for more games this is amazing and the last thing actually not the last there is this huge box with extra sleeves for all the cards this must be the biggest box of sleeves ever crafted <laughs> and the last thing I want to show you and this officially is the longest and lengthiest unboxing video I've ever done but you guess why is a Hermo chest loot so remember this hamlet now it comes with a um, recess board and this is really nice because here maybe I can demonstrate once you upgrade from blacksmith 1 to blacksmith 2 then you simply click and put the thing in its place so very very well done really like what I see here then um, the next thing that comes into the loot chest are these and these are completely decorated you just uh, put them on standees and put them around they don't have any gameplay function but boy do I like them and boy do I wish more companies were doing so because it has amazing art and you just put them on standees and put them around your I don't know fighting area or stage or play mat or whatever and look how cool this look because these give a very very immersive background it doesn't have any gameplay function but who cares because they do add a lot in the 3D feel and in essence and they, they help get the theme out faster with a very very simple way just put this backboards how do you want to call them I don't know how they call them maybe they have an official word but they do really uh, fit nicely around your uh, scenery to give more I would say uh, realistic view okay then there is a buggy we have some chests to replace the cardboard tokens and then you have a lot of different things these are the bases for the backboards that I mentioned before again these are piles of gold look at that these are so nice so nice I think I'm going to be using them in all of my games these are amazing okay. then have some uh, piles of gold respectively and this is something that I really like this is where these um, stickers come in place you do have uh, doors and you do have places for stickers beneath so these are a perfect match give a more 3D feel to it and then some coin stacks yeah <laughs> okay cool so this is everything that comes into the um, into the boxes I'm still missing some uh, expansions uh, from the essential uh, core box and uh, maybe once I get them I do a separate video for those but uh, as you can see this is a ton of material and officially this is the longest unboxing video I've done myself I don't know if anyone has done a long <laughs> a more lengthy one than this one but I try to be very fast but you see it's amazing the amount of content it's absolutely amazing I can't really wait to get this uh, on the table and start reading the rule book right away uh, to refresh my memory I'll start from the tutorial and then start playing the game so many thanks for watching stay tuned for more material from our channel